On this Debaco University student series video, we're going to answer if you need a work light, why should it be green? Uh, and then we'll bring in some research from Dr. Bugby on this particular light that gets a lot of attention in growing operations. All right, well, let's start off with that quote from Dr. Bruce Bugby. He goes on to say, quote, do not go out here running around saying Dr. Bugby says that green light is not safe at all. Our eyes are so sensitive to green, we can see plants with one one hundredth the amount of green light as we can with blue or red. It is still, if you got to have a light, it is still the best color of light, end quote. And I put the link to the YouTube video there. So keep in mind, this is really not from the plant standpoint. The reason why green's being recommended is because our eyes are very perceptive to that, and we can see plants with a very small amount of light. So if you need to use a light, even though not advised, this would be the color of light to use. So let's get into the video now. So we're using our fence lights just by turning them on and off with our timer to grow our clones, but a lot of people opt to using green lights for when their lights are turned off or set to nighttime. This is because green's wavelength for its light is a lot dimmer than many of the other colors. So this allows us as a grower to be able to observe our plant. All right, so we just saw that green light there. And again, why we're choosing green was well, the least efficiently used color of light in the visual spectrum uh, that chlorophyll absorbs. Now keep in mind that this light is a low par light and it's recommended for a work light and used only when needed. If you are in the flowering uh, cycle or photo period, avoid continuous hours of darkness interruptions, especially during this particular period. And if you are using this light, you want to keep it very minimal and use it only when needed for the shortest duration um, of time there. So it can still throw off your photo period. But again, if you need something to see something, this would be definitely uh, the wavelength of light that would be chosen to be best. Now, is this concept of green light being reflected? Green light is reflected, but some is reflected externally, but some is also reflected internally. Externally reflected is uh, what plants appear green because leaves reflect more green light than other visible wavelengths. But typically, this is only about 5 to 10% of green light is actually reflected. Uh, this wonderful uh, kind of leaf penetration kind of uh, side view, if you will, uh, this is produced by Utah State University, Dr. Bugby's lab, uh, internally reflected also occurs. This is why green light penetrates deepest into the leaf surface, because it's not efficiently absorbed by chlorophyll. If it was really efficiently absorbed by chlorophyll, it'd be all kind of absorbed at the very top. Because it's not, what ends up happening is it kind of like bounces around um, the leaf there, and that's why it gets into be penetrated deeper. Now, this doesn't mean that chlorophyll the only absorbing pigment. There's many others. Uh, so keep in mind, there is some reflected. That's what gives leaves their green coloration. But it's not as high as most people think as far as number or volume of green light. Some is penetrating. Some is bouncing around there, still being utilized. So again, as a work light, if you have the option, green would still be the preferred option. But really, hopefully doing all of your work during the normal lights on period.